Hi everyone. Today we will discuss how to protect your GitHub environment using Microsoft Cloud App Security. In one of our previous videos, we have seen how to successfully connect those two. And today we will see which benefits you can get from that. First, note that all the built-in policies that would apply to any generic app, such as impossible travel, such as unusual countries, they would also apply to GitHub, just like for any other app. On top of these, of course, you can create your own policies. To make your life simpler, we have created a number of templates tailored specifically for GitHub. To find them, go to the templates page under control and type GitHub in the name field. Then click the plus button right on the right of your screen to create a policy based on that template. The first one here is called repository access level becomes public. It is here to help you finding out if somebody makes a GitHub repository public, potentially leaking private data. Feel free to edit the template and finally click the create button at the bottom of your page. For most environments, we recommend that you create policies based on all the GitHub template that you have built in for you. Let's review the other two templates available as of today. Enablement of private repository forking is part of our SSPM story, our SaaS security posture management story. The goal of this policy is to help you detect when a key security setting is modified in your GitHub tenant. In this case, we are looking at repository forking. This means that we would allow repositories to be duplicated and potentially exfiltrated. The third template, OAuth app creation, allows you to detect when an OAuth app token has been created and could potentially be in use in the environment. If you have any specific need that goes beyond what those templates can cover, of course you can create your own custom policy. For that, go to the policies page and create a new activity policy. Let's see a real life example here. And we will create a policy that will trigger when the admin enabled the deletion of repository in the tenant. You start by typing in a name, and then we will select the appropriate filter. First, the app, of course, that is GitHub. Then we will want to add the proper activity type to monitor. And in that case, the one we want to do is members can delete repos enabled. Simply means that the admin allowed members of a repository to delete it. We can change the alert setting if needed and then create the policy. Now, after some time, we can see that one alert trigger for this last policy that we just created. And we can easily investigate it just like any other policy or any other alert in Microsoft Cloud App Security. Clicking to see more details, you can see the exact activity that triggered the alert. Without any surprise, this is the one we had configured in our policy previously. You can also see the user that actually triggered this alert. Now we have seen some of the main use cases to help you protect GitHub with MCAS. Of course, the sky is the limit. And let us know if you have any creative policy or any suggestion on how we can improve a product.